the wily Kronos, father of Zeus, wielder of the stone sickle that severed heaven from earth, lord of the harvest and progenitor of the Olympian gods. Who is Kronos? Hi, I'm Kevin McLean. If you'd like to support my work, please check out the Patreon page or the other links below. The earliest tales of Kronos are to be found in the Iliad and the Theogony of Hesiod. He was said to be the youngest son of Earth and Sky, Uranus and Gaia. Uranus was dissatisfied with his children, the Cyclopes. They were so called for they had a single eye in the center of their head. Arges, Flash, Brontes, Thunder, Steropes, Lightning Bolt, and the Hecaton Kires, the Hundred Handers, and their many arms wielded clouds, and their fifty heads stirred up the winds with their breath. Uranus, fearing their terrible power, locked them away in the earth, which caused great woe to Gaia and she went to her children, the titans, the straining ones, with a grey flint sickle, and said, My children, gotten of a sinful father, if you will obey me, we should punish the vile outrage of your father, for he first thought of doing shameful things. All were afraid of her words, save Kronos. He took hold of the great sickle with courage, and vowed to do the deed. When Uranus came along, with night following after, to lay atop the earth, the brothers of Kronos sprung upon him, seizing him in all directions, and Kronos, wielding the sickle, severed his father's genitals, releasing the primordial gods who had been trapped within the earth. But wily Kronos again bound the Cyclopes and the Hecaton Kires, and forced them back into Tartarus, while he gained the kingship of the world, wedding his sister, Re, meaning flow. This tale is a description of the origin of time, and the general cycles of the fixed heaven, and the directions in which it is supported and governed over by the brothers of Kronos, Okeanos, boundary of the earth, Krios, the southern pillar, Koios, the northern pillar, Iaptos, the eastern pillar, and Hyperion, the western pillar. Kronos positioned himself in the center, severing the genitals of Uranus and his connection to the earth, thus creating the space between earth and heaven for the other primordial gods and their flow, which was ruled over by Kronos time. But this rule was not to last forever. Earth and heaven prophesied that a son of Kronos would rise up to depose him, who would stand above time itself, above the ever-flowing changing world of things. Fearing this fate, Kronos began to devour all of his children. The nature of those children is spirit, Beings that manipulate, shape, and organize the world through consciousness and the unfolding processes of nature that Kronos himself set in motion. By severing the sky from the earth and creating time, Kronos would also bring on the great light-filled sky. He would father Zeus. Due to his efforts, his other children remained trapped within him trapped within the confines of time, in his belly. But not so great Lord Zeus, Prey, who was greatly vexed by the consuming of her children, hid great Zeus away. Some say in a cave, while others say he was suspended between earth and sky. She brought to Kronos instead a stone. But why does the stone represent Zeus? For the stone represents that which is eternal, unchanging, and unaffected by time. 
Kronos led the other primordial gods in a great battle against his son. For all primordial things of earth and heaven are subject to the power of time, save for the great storm clouds and winds which flow not according to time, for they are irregular, and this is why Kronos bound them in the wide earth. When Kronos was overthrown by the fiery bolts of Zeus fashioned for him by the Cyclopes, he too was bound by the chains of Zeus, the force of cosmic law, the spirit which binds all things, even time, with the dictates of necessity. But some say that Lord Zeus let free his father and granted him the rule of the Blessed Isles, where the chosen dead reside. Others say that the rule of Kronos over the world was the golden age where all things come to man without effort. They ate freely of the trees of the earth without worry for tilling the soil or the statutes of kings. For the rule of Kronos knew no law but the cycle of time, and man had no awareness of himself and lived thus in the contentment of an animal. For with Zeus came consciousness, the great illuminating light of heaven, and with that came law, and that of good and evil. For both good and evil are given by Zeus, as Hesiod says, for he gives to the righteous and punishes those who are unrighteous. And sometimes a whole city, even a whole nation, will suffer for the wickedness of one man. For the consequences of our actions in the world are governed by Zeus. Kronos is likewise seen as Lord of the Harvest, for it is through him that all things reach their end, for he has brought the harvest to fruition. Thus says Ovid, the golden age was that first age, which unconstrained with heart and soul, obedient to no law, gave honor and good faith and righteousness. No punishment they knew, no fear. They read no penalties engraved on plates of bronze. No suppliant throng with dread beheld their judge. No judges had they, then, but lived securely. No pine had yet on its high mountain fell, descended to the sea to find strange lands afar. Men knew no shores but their own, no battlements their cities embraced. Earth willingly untouched, not wounded yet by hoe and plough, gave all her bounteous store. Men were content with nature's food, unforced, and gathered strawberries in the mountainside, and cherries, and clutching brambles fruit, and acorns fallen from Zeus's spreading tree. After death, the good were thought to go to this realm governed by Kronos. And Pindar says of it, But the good enjoy a life that knows no toil with men honored of heaven who keep their sworn word gladly. And the unjust endure pains that no eye can see. But those who had good courage three times on either side of death, to keep their hearts untarnished of all wrongs, these travel the road of Zeus to Kronos's tower. All the great heroes are said to reside there in this joyous abode. Kronos can also be seen as the twilight god, with Uranus associated with the dark night sky and the stars of heaven. Kronos is the transition point between night and day, whereas the daylight sky is of Zeus. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. A big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. And if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter and make video requests and get other special content, please check out the page link below. Thank you all for listening, and as always, stand tall.